it's Mrs. Tritch here, and today I'm going to teach you how to play When the Saints Go Marching In on your recorder. So if you look at When the Saints Go Marching In, you will notice that the notes they use in this song are some that we've used for a long time and some that are kind of new, but they're not super new. So you'll see that we use G, which we learned right away in the very beginning, right? A, B, high C, which is your middle finger and your thumb on your left hand, and high D. Those are the only notes we play in this song. There are five notes, and they are all left hand notes. Your right hand doesn't do anything but hang out in this song, so don't use your right hand at all. The other thing you need to note when you look at this song is the, do you see the notes that look like they have a rainbow going between them? Or some of them, if they're flipped notes that have the note heads on the bottom and the stems on the top, you might see there it looks like a smiley face underneath. It looks like they've got a smile. Those are happy notes. Well, they're probably happy notes because you get to hold them for extra long. So those are called ties, those rainbows and smiles that go between the notes. And when you see a tie, what it does is it ties those notes together so they sound like one big long note. So you first see it in the second measure going into the third measure. The second measure has a whole note that's a high D, and the third measure has a high D on the first beat, so it's a quarter note. So if you have a whole note, you know that that gets four beats, it takes the whole measure, four beats. And a quarter note gets a fourth of the measure, so it's one beat, right? So when you take your four notes and you tie it to, or your four beats and you tie it to your one beat, then you end up with five beats. So that becomes one big long sound. It's two different notes, but they're tied together into one long sound. So when you play that high D in the second measure going into the third measure, it sounds like this. Five beats of high D. Sometimes I get students who play and they use their tongue in between because they see two notes. I know I've told you to always use your tongue in between to separate the sounds, but with a tie you don't want the sounds to separate. And ties will always have the same note tied to itself because if you tie a note to a different note, you can tell when the different note starts. So it can't be tied together. It doesn't sound like one big long note. So the way it works on this song, you're going to play that beginning phrase G B, C, D, and you have to play that phrase three times. The last time the D isn't quite as long, but I think that it's not super difficult because you've got that same phrase going over and over in the beginning. So I, let's try and see if you can do it. The rhythms are pretty standard. There are some dotted half notes that will get three beats. Don't forget the dotted notes, right? But for the most part, it's quarter notes, half notes, and whole notes. So there are no eighth notes even, so nothing to worry about being super tricky. The hardest part is probably the dotted half note in, towards the end of the second line. And I think you can do that. So we're not going to go super fast because we never go super fast, right? If we went super fast, it would be super hard. So let's make it easy on ourselves. So we're going to start, and notice there's a rest in the first beat. So we're going to start on two. So when I count us off, we're going to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, go. Da, 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 da. And that is how it goes. All right. So let's try playing it. If you need to stop and check out the rhythms and make sure you understand them or check the letters of the notes and make sure you know what they are, then you go ahead and stop as many times as you need. And if you want to go back and practice after we're done, that's okay too. All right, but it starts on G, so get your three fingers and your thumb ready for the G to start us out. And we're going to start on two, remember? One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, go, one.
did you do? Were you able to play it? It's not a very really hard song, is it? I don't think so. And I think with a little bit of practice, you can do really well on it. So keep practicing and turn in your recorder test. I can't wait to hear you playing. You're almost there. I'm so proud of you. All right. Bye.